So Mount Adams will now be known as the place where Joe and Whitney got married, but it was actually also the first place that I met Whitney. While I was out one night with Abby and Jess, um, I met their roommate, Whitney. She was dressed in a super cute outfit with a hat, like the fashionista she is. And I told her I loved her boho look. And we were fast friends after that. And the squad was officially born. Five years ago, I stumbled back home from New York City, feeling like a complete failure <laughs> for not being able to make my dreams come true. I was very lost with no direction and very little self-confidence. <laughs> But little did I know at the time that God had a much bigger plan for me and that the universe was pulling me right to my new dream, you. First thing I remember noticing about you <laughs> is how green your eyes are. <laughs> so vibrant and beautiful the first time we spoke. I couldn't hear anything you were saying. <laughs> I just couldn't concentrate on you. The girl that you met five years ago was very broken but it didn't deter or scare you one bit. You just slowly put all of my pieces back together. I'll never forget that day early on when I apologized <laughs> and warned you about how difficult it would be to love me and help me heal. And you simply looked at me and said, I'll prove it to you. But it's been five years and 10 days since that time. And I've loved every minute of it. You've introduced so much to my life since that moment. Sushi, <laughs> mimosas. <laughs> you made me a cat daddy. That's funny. <laughs> Love you, little Maggie. We're so glad to meet the Hondamers. There's so many we haven't met. We're going to get together tonight, and we're going to keep it together, okay? Just like these two are. What else did I have, Carla? Hi, <laughs> baby. I love you. I love red. Yeah, me too. Gosh, hey. Good. Joe is my oldest and best friend. <laughs> and when he asked me to be his best man, we were in a parking lot of a golf course. He looked me right in the eye and he grabbed my hand and he said, Derek. He said, you're the best man I've ever met. He says, you have to be the best man. Is, I'm choked up <laughs> right now thinking about it. I did cry. I cried at the time. And um, it was one of the most important days of my life. Hey, baby. <laughs> oh, look at you. Oh, you look so beautiful. Oh. Let me see Wow. <laughs> I missed you so much oh, today. So oh, yes. I hate being without you. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. Mm -hmm. I hate being without you, man. You're the only one I like. <laughs> I love you. I'm excited. You look so amazing. Thank you. I can't believe it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I pretty much knew you were my soulmate when I saw you eating a Wendy's baked potato because <laughs> <laughs> who even knew Wendy's had baked potatoes? They're good. And who would ever get one from a fast food place but you? But a little while later, after a few months of friendship, I'm so happy that I decided to walk up to you in the gym and ask for your number. And even though I asked you on our first date and Ian picked you up for it, <laughs> I'll still let you tell people that you scooped me up after I fell on the treadmill. I love that you're a great communicator. I always know what you want for your birthday. <laughs> But you've helped me so much in learning how to express my thoughts and feelings. I'm so grateful for that. 
After her first date, she was already over the moon and smitten, as can be, about Joe. I can honestly say, truly, that Joe brings out the best in Whitney. I've never seen her smile so big or seen her heart so full. We've been through so much together. The highs and the lows. But with you, the highs are just a little higher. And the lows, they're never in the bad. I'll carve your name into the sun. Love you till my days are done. I'm never let you go. You're the fire inside my blood. Burn the bad and leave the good in my angel. taught me that two people join together with respect, trust, and open communication can be far stronger and happier than they each could ever be one. You are the most dependable, loyal, and sweetest boy I've ever known, and I'm the luckiest girl in the world to have you. You give me the stability that I need in my life. I'm so honored that you chose me. Even when I'm on the news, you love me more than I deserve. I'm a pop-in guy. I invited my friends here tonight and they know that I've popped into their lives. Every one of my friends either has a built-in swimming pool or, you know, and I'll use it when they're not there. And they'll tell you that. <laughs> I got one thing to say to all of you. Drink and eat tonight on Creamer because I've been doing it to you for how many years now? <laughs> He has a lot of qualities that I think about when I think about what goes into a successful marriage, right? Joe is loyal. Joe is resilient. And Joe's the man. Some days we lose, some days we win. Wild hearts until the end. Since the beginning, I've always told him, I can show you better than I can tell you. I can't wait to show you every day for the rest of our lives. I promise to be a best friend to you so that in this life, you'll never have to do anything alone. Thank you so much for loving me, Miss Luna, Mr. Toons, and Ginger May. And please never stop singing your made up songs for us. I was made for you and I will love you in every lifetime. this burn. toast to the wonderful bride and groom, I'd like to recite a poem from Whitney's favorite TV show, Sex and the City. His hello was the end of her endings. Her laugh was their first step down the aisle. His hand would be hers to hold forever. His forever was as simple as her smile. He said she was what was missing. She said instantly she knew. She was a question to be answered and his answer was, I do.